Ode to the Creek, to the burnished waters, snaking facets of silver minnows in my backyard, meek cousin to the royal ocean, humble tendril, you toss your white stones onto the shore like bread for the poor, pearls I string into a path. Oh, creek, you cannot hide what the full moon pulls, alms of stars from your secret breast, of ferns, willows, and the two wood ducks braiding purple fountain grass into a bower for their chicks. You sometimes feign stillness like a sleeping Buddha. One eye opens to the peck of walnuts, to the pelt of their concentric circles on your surface, like patterns on a taffeta skirt. Each layer you hike up reveals roots from the sycamore. Two doors down, a red twig dogwood cozies up to the redwood shadow, which umbrellas the wild willows. Why does it always come back to the sorrow of willows? You sometimes rage when the neap tide fattens the ocean's head and crowds you back into the mountain's elbow. You fight and froth the storm, hurl small trees, broken bottles and cedar shingles down the ocean's mad gob. You swell the heart of the shoreline into two ever-widening banks. Threaten me with a divide too wide to cross. Make me think I may never cross this foaming torrent again. Oak Creek the morning sun's fringe tickles you into a tinkling tranquility. The stellar's jays honk, and the shore makes a bridge of a fallen tree. Your grand symphony, now a penny whistle of rapids receding. You blush and offer a perfectly round stone, a wedge of polished glass, and a broken teacup on the riffle of the current's edge. I take these tokens and place each on an altar of mud, sand, and twigs in an attempt to appease an often fragile piece.